Hey guys, how you going? Hope you're all doing very well. This evening I'm going to be doing another television series review. This series is from Korea, Korean Language English Subs, released in the year 2021, directed by Sang Ho Yoon, and this series is called Hellbound. So Hellbound is set in a terrifying new reality. That reality had been predicted 10 years previous by a religious figure that everyone deemed as a psychopath, but now that it's been revealed 10 years later as truth, he is now redeemed, he's now seen as a messiah. So this messiah has even founded his own church and he commands a lot of respect and has a lot of power. Now the revelation that come about that actually changed everyone's lives was that of the condemnation of sinners going down into hell. So what happens is that an angel will approach someone who's sinned, tell them that they're what they've done and that they have X amount of time to live before the monsters from hell will actually take them from earth and go down into the fiery pits. So this is something that no one wants to actually, uh, you know, suffer from so they're going to do everything that the church tells them but then as the, the situation progresses more organizations come into play and this is where the play for power comes in and this is where people are going to be put into the firing line especially the main characters who have discovered a secret behind this church that the church is desperate to keep hidden and so therefore they will do anything to shut them up so whether or not the secret does come out is something you're going to have to find out for yourself because that's as far as I'm going with my synopsis. Now my thoughts on Hellbound. When you think of Netflix and Korea, you think of Squid Game. Everybody is talking about Squid Game. It's Squid Game, Squid Game, Squid Game. It's one of the most highly ranked uh, Netflix shows ever. Not only are Korea leading the way in movies, they're actually leading the way in television. So they're really taking over. So I didn't review Squid Game because everyone under the sun is reviewing it. So I go for the lesser known, not only movies, but television series. And so I thought to myself, all right, I want to check out Hellbound because it is Korean. And I definitely think that people need to talk about series and movies that no one else really talks about. So I haven't heard too much about Hellbound, so I thought this is definitely the series that I'm going to review. Coming into it, I was very excited, but I was a little bit hesitant when I realized that Sang Ho Yoon was the director. Now, Sang Ho Yoon is a very uh, established director. He created a movie called Train to Busan, and recently, Peninsula. Now, Train to Busan was a good film. I thought it was, it was a little bit overrated, but it was certainly worthy of uh, the, the experience. But Peninsula, the follow-up, was an absolute letdown. It was really mediocre, and this is what worried me about this director. So knowing that he was the director of Hellbound, I thought, all right, I'm going to give him a chance to redeem himself, but I had my hesitations based on the fact that Peninsula was so bad. So going there with fingers crossed that it was going to be a good experience, I'm happy to say that it certainly was. Sang Ho Yoon in Hellbound has definitely redeemed himself in what was an absolutely riveting and thought-provoking experience. This is a horror series. This is a series that features three terrifying monsters, but it's more so a, a series that looks at society and the power of control, and especially churches and the set of beliefs that we follow in order to have control of our lives. And when you realize that that might not be, you not, might not be as in control as you thought you were, then unfortunately this is where that's that sense of ambiguity comes in and ambiguity can create fear and fear is definitely the driving force of this series not only from the visual fear but also the psychological fear of not being able to trust your fellow person because our set of beliefs and our newfound way of living is so foreign to what we were used to and so unfortunately this is where you have to really come to terms with yourself and also what is going on around you and I thought as though the six part first season was absolutely fantastic I always talk about in television series that dangling of the carrot Basically, after one episode, what is the dangling carrot effect in that you want to actually want to see the other episode? And I will say that I binge watched this series. I'm not, I never binge watch, but Sang Ho Yoon has done an absolutely fantastic job at creating a, an hour long episode and actually leaving it on a cliffhanger. And the cliffhanger is just so unbearable that I needed to see what happened next and then I needed to see what happened after the next episode. So it's that train effect in that I thought as though it was just building and every single episode is evolving from the last one. And I thought the continuity and the fluency was absolutely phenomenal. I really liked the way that this series went about its business. At the start, it seems like a horrifying sort of world that this series is set in. You don't know what's happening. So it leaves a lot of questions unanswered. And when these questions are answered, it actually leads up to something you know, it's far more terrifying than I first thought because this is not so much a supernatural sort of tale. Yes, it does have supernatural elements, but it's definitely a tale about human uh, nature and what we do when we live in fear and how we can be controlled living in fear and those people 
who know that they have control and how they manipulate us to behave in ways that we, they actually want us to. So we're mere puppets to the puppeteers. And if the puppeteers are evil, this is where they can set each other upon themselves. And so this is something that religion does a lot. Religion is a good thing, but it can be used in a very bad way. And the sense of fear and paranoia, once you have that manipulated, it can be a very scary thing because we can be led down a tunnel that we're not aware of, but that by the time we actually come to our senses and realize what's going on, it might be all too late. So this a mob mentality that this series creates was something that I could actually think of in today's society in a very realistic sense. But on the other sense, you do have supernatural elements that, but that makes it a lot of fun, but at the same time, a strong purpose in something that you really have to think about and actually come to terms with. And so I thought as though there was a lot to like about this series. The production was absolutely fantastic. I really liked the idea of these monsters. The monsters actually look quite terrifying. They were very, very brutal. It does have hard-hitting violence, but at the same time, there's a lot of tender moments. I thought the character development was fantastic. I wanted to know more about these characters. I wanted to know more about these church members. I wanted to know more about this Messiah. And at the same time, I wanted to know about the main characters. So you have a set of good guys and bad guys, but then as the series goes along, your perception of good and bad changes. And so you're never quite sure where this is going. I thought as though there was a lot of elements in this series that was very unpredictable. And this is definitely the redeeming point for Sang Ho Yoon. I no longer think of him as an overrated director because he has created something that I definitely feel as though more people should watch. If I have a problem with this series is that there are a few moments where you have to have a suspension of disbelief. Now, yes, this is featuring monsters coming out of the ground and, and getting people and taking them back to hell. So there is that sense of paranormal. But there are other elements that I thought, all right, it didn't quite work as well as it could have. I thought as though uh, some of the reactions to certain events were a little bit unrealistic. But set in an unrealistic world, you can forgive that. And so I will forgive that in what was, as I said, a really, really good series. The acting was great. I thought as though there were some really brutal and very scary and nerve-wracking moments. I thought the suspense was used really, really well. And so not only do you have danger from a paranormal entity, but you have the danger from human nature. And so it reminded me of the movie The Mist where a character says once fear takes place all bets are off and that's definitely the driving force in Hellbound and it will make you think about how we react to things once fear kicks in. So if it sounds like your kind of thing, if you like Squid Game, I definitely feel as though Hellbound deserves a lot more recognition than it gets. It definitely, it's definitely living in the shadow of Squid Game so definitely go out there and see if you are a fan of South Korean television I'm going to give Hellbound four and a half stars. Alright guys, that's it for my review. I hope you enjoyed it. Till next time, keep watching movies and I'll see you later.